The U.S. is taking a harder stance on Syria after the government allegedly launched a chemical attack on civilians. When America's Taizi Parenchi has more on what U.S. officials think America should focus on when it comes to the conflict in Syria. On Thursday, the U.S. launched a missile strike against the Syrian government in a move President Trump said was a clear message to President Bashar al-Assad. This after a suspected chemical attack killed dozens of civilians in the province of Idlib. Tonight I ordered a targeted military strike on the airfield in Syria from where the chemical attack was launched. It is in this vital national security interest of the United States to prevent and deter the spread and use of deadly chemical weapons. Since then, there has been much speculation over where U.S. policy on Syria is headed. While U.S. Ambassador to the U.N. Nikki Haley says a political solution for Syria is impossible with Assad as president, Secretary of State Rex Tillerson says the priority is still defeating ISIS. When asked if the two statements were inconsistent, President Trump's national security adviser said no, claiming both problems could be tackled simultaneously. There has to be a degree of, uh, of simultaneous activity as well as a sequencing of the defeat of ISIS first. What you have in Syria is a very destructive cycle of violence, uh, perpetuated uh, by, by ISIS, obviously, uh, but also by this regime and their Iranian and Russian sponsors. And so what we have to be able to do is to work together with our allies and partners to, to help resolve this conflict. According to Lieutenant General H.R. McMaster, the U.S. is eager for regime change in Syria, but will not be the one affecting that change. Meanwhile, former CIA Director David Petraeus says the U.S. should focus on ISIS, saying it would be premature to oust the Syrian president without knowing what will follow. Taizi Parente, One American News.